Welcome back to Growing with Grow. My name is Austin, and today what I've got going for you is some smoked oxtails. Now the way that we're going to be preparing these oxtails today is we're going to dry brine them, and then we're going to use the salt-free rub and inject them, and then we're going to rub them down with that same salt-free rub. Let me show you these oxtails, and we can get to grilling. The first step today is injecting our oxtails, and I'm going to be using this Penzi's Jerk Chicken and Fish salt-free seasoning. So I actually have dry brined these before, like what I was saying. So I've mixed up one cup of water to one tablespoon of that rub. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a nice brown color to it. So we're just gonna go ahead, give that a little stir, and then we're gonna pull it into our in injector and get these injected up. So let me show you something about the needles. It's important that you choose the right one. So on this one, uh, the hole itself was too small, so some of the rub was getting caught in it. On this needle, uh, this hole was too far up. It wouldn't go down far enough, so I couldn't use this needle. So I had to use this big needle uh, that has uh, the big hole and only one opening. So I just wanted to show you that. Now we have our oxtails ejected. It is time to season them up and we're gonna continue using this uh, jerk seasoning. So you just wanna season all sides uh, pretty liberally. So I'll get these seasoned up uh, and then we'll get back to you when we're on the grill. Here are these oxtails on the grill, and I've got three chunks of hickory wood, and below the oxtails, I've actually got the rest of that injection that we didn't use, as well as some of the smaller pieces of oxtail, and so we're just going to let that braise and catch that fat of the oxtails on the top. We're going to smoke these for about an hour and then flip. We went about an hour, now we're going to flip these over, get some color on that other side. Here's a shot of what the other side looks like. I just wanted to show you that uh, to show you why we flip these. Uh, not quite as much color on the back side as there was on the front side. So we're gonna smoke these for another hour and then we're gonna put them in a pan to braise. Here's a look at those oxtails after two hours. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them off, put them in that drip pan below, put the drip pan on top and wrap it. And actually I ran out of aluminum foil so I'm gonna be wrapping it in butcher paper. And we're going to go for about three hours on that. And then we'll be back with you. All right, here's our aluminum pan wrapped up. And I just want to show you uh, on the sides here, I crimped it and then I kind of tucked it underneath where I could. Hopefully that'll give us a tight seal and we can use those brazing liquids to get to the tenderness that we like. I'm going to check on it after three hours, but we're not necessarily going for time. Uh, like I said, we're going to go for tenderness. All right, let's get the lid on and then I'll get back with you when it's about the tenderness that I like. We're back. You saw the end shot of those oxtails and they have a pretty nice color. So let's get to the taste test. So you can see there, nice color on that. If you look at the back side where I cut it, got a nice little smoke ring. Let's give it a try. There's good tenderness there. Uh, it's got a strong beet flavor. That came off one of the, the bigger oxtails. Uh, some of the smaller ones I tried a little bit tougher, uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna shred this up and do some pasta with it probably. All right, everyone, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.